didn't know what to think of it personally. I, I, I just, you know, we just did our best. And luckily, as soon as it went to review, it just got amazing reviews and, 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 and everyone, and you know, and then John Peel picked up on it and, you know, it just took off. And it, there wasn't that much time to really think about it, I suppose, was there? No. I don't think I even listened to it. You know, I mean, I, we're so sick of playing it in the studio and just sort of playing the song's mind. I mean, it just sort of, you know, I don't think you're ever that, uh, I don't think you ever feel that good about a record that you've made when you've been playing it live, it's sort of, you know, you, you, you need a bit of space from it, yeah, don't you? Yeah, yeah. Alan wanted to have more songs on the album, I think. I think he wanted to put Real Animal on and Chris and Shine on. Um, but no, I mean, it, 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 uh, I, I, it was yeah. good to separate out yeah. the singles, you know, in yeah. those days, you know, because we were releasing EPs, as a lot of people were, you know, like 12 inch EP with four tracks, three or four tracks, you know, it's a sort of a separate kind of thing. And you're kind of thinking about, you know, giving sort of people a bit more, you know, their good value, if you like, or whatever, you know, or it's just, that is a standalone thing. You're not just putting all the singles onto one album. I'm walking on the sea. 